we're going to do this in order from uh, 10 to 1. So we're going to start with 10. And at 10, we have the app called Iconoclasm. So I'm just going to load this up. As you can see, I have a cool theme, which is also in one of the apps that are in later in the later countdown. So the app is called Iconoclasm. And this is actually a paid city app. But I'll also have a cousin love video on how to SSH things. Well, do the same thing as SSH without actually using a computer, so it's a lot easier. So you can get this from that. So Iconoclasm is really cool. As you can see by you saw by my background is actually seven or six by six. And how they got smaller is also another app that's in this countdown. So yeah, so it fits on it. So what you can do for this is you can do a full out layout like I have now. So right now I have 6x6. Six six. If I wanted to do 6x7x7, six 6x6. Seven seven, six six. And now what Iconoclasm does is you search for layouts on Cydia. And the layouts won't work unless you have Iconoclasm. So it makes everything work. And it's not only 6x6 six six and stuff like that. You can also do stuff like curve layout, triangle, all this really cool stuff. So it looks like a triangle. You can even make it so the corners aren't filled in. It's very cool. And if you don't want to have it on the whole thing, you can you can do different layouts for different pages. So that's really cool, and that deserves number 10 in the countdown. The next is called Glove Pod, and that's also in settings. And it's also really cool, and it's good for if you're listening to music and you don't want to turn it, it's such a hassle to go all the way to music and turn on and switch the song or whatever. So what Glove Pod does, just go to Glove Pod here, enable it. So power button on. So right now, all I have is when the screen's off. So it only works when the screen's off. So what happens is, if I tap one of the volume buttons, what it's going to do is it's going to switch songs. And you can set it so it holds and it fast forwards the song. And yeah, it's really cool. So you can just have it off and switch songs just by pressing this, which is very, very convenient at times. So yeah, that's it's simple, but very, very useful. Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is called Font Swap. Now as you can see, well this is actually a custom keyboard, but okay, so I'm going to go in Font Swap there. As you can see, all my fonts on my system are changed. So I'll actually even give you a demonstration here. Yeah, I have that sound. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, so as you can see, see how my lock screen is a different font, and even everything is a different font on the system. And the easiest way to do this is to get the program Font Swap. So what Font Swap does is really simple. You can download fonts, and you can download more if you want to. But right now I just have Neotech on my thing because I like it. So you can get fonts from everything, calculator fonts, lock clock, lock clock fonts, which is what I showed you before. So I can right now I have Gas, which is pretty cool. Notes fonts, system fonts, system fonts is basically everything except lock clocks, notes fonts, and all that. So it's really cool. You can switch the font to your whole system, which is very cool. The next thing I'm going to talk to you is called Side Elite. Very simple, but also very convenient. Say you download something from Cydia, and you don't like it, uh, Cydia things will go away. So, let me find an example here, Rock, okay. So, normally Rock, you'd have to go into Cydia, and then go to Packages, and then go to Rock, and then press Delete. But from here, I can just go here, and delete it, but I'm not going to delete it, because I like Rock. So, there you go simple and also very convenient. Next thing I'm going to talk to you is called InfiniDoc. Let me see if I can search it. InfiniDoc. No, it's in settings I guess. Sorry for that. Sorry for the loading times guys. InfiniDoc. Okay. So let me just find that. Okay, here we go. Infinity Dock basically lets you get your favorite icons and put it in the bottom page and you can have as many as you want. I'll show you that later. So I'm just going to go to the actual thing and you can have up to 10 so it can squish 10 without having to scroll or right now I have it 6 so it's really 6 by 6 and the dock's even 6 as well so it all matches. So right now I have it 6 so it'll show a maximum of 6 but if I want to I can add even more and just scroll along. Very cool and very good for apps like apps that you use the most. You don't have to worry about scrolling pages, you can just go scroll with your dock the whole time. Very convenient and a very good app overall. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is called iAccess. As you've seen before, my keyboard is very cool. Now, iAccess is also a paid app, which I will show you how to get without actually SSHing. 
and you can just stay on your iPod and do it. So I'll show you how to get that as well. So it's called iAxis. And what iAxis does is allow this pretty much. So normally your keyboard is normally just white and it's not really cool. But this is really cool. So what iAxis does, it doesn't really do anything actually besides enable them. So you download the themes off Cydia, but you have to do you have to type in iAxis first, and you can get all the keyboard themes you need and just go to your winter board and select the ones you want. So if I go to my winter boards, this is also actually one that's going to be on the later countdown, which I'm actually kind of giving you a preview. But yeah, so iAxis keyboards, you can select which one you want, and it'll only work if you have iAxis. So yeah. Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk to you is called Dtunes. Now what Dtunes does is it stores all your videos. It's actually really simple. You just open it up. It stores all the videos you need and just wait for it to load, it takes a while to load so I have a bunch of videos here and you pretty much it just allows you to download everything so you doubt you want some file, it doesn't matter off of Cydia, or Safari, sorry you just go to download and it will show up on DTunes so it pretty much allows everything to show up uh, the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is called SB Settings SB Settings is very cool because it gets you the things that it will take a while for you to do without using it. So if I really want to quickly adjust my brightness or my volume, it's really simple to do. So I can turn off Wi-Fi, fast notes, so if you're in the middle of something, and right now I don't have 4.0, so I don't have multitasking, I can just go to quick notes. If someone sends me something or something and I want to remember it, I can just simply type it in on quick notes without actually going to notes. You can quickly respring, quickly turn off the power. And what's really cool, is you can even change the theme on your yeah you can manage the theme you can have an SB settings theme as you can see mine set to glass clerk but you can set different themes and you can even add more stuff what I showed you is just an example and there's a lot more that can be added the next one I'm going to talk to you about which I've kinda of shown you already is called winterboards so what winterboards does is store themes. So, as I've shown you before, right now, and it can even have multiple themes used at the same time. So I have glass card icons with ultimate time and date and ultimate chrome. As you can see, I added all these loading times and stuff. It really stores all the themes you download and you can enable them from here. I also have Supreme Preferences, Family Guy Quagmire, that's what happens when I open it up. Uh, Halo Plasma Pistol Sounds, that's what happens when I, that's what happens when I type. And yeah, I have Ultimate Chrome theme, as you can see right now. I'm using Ultimate Chrome theme. And I even have uh, Boss Paper, which didn't make it to the top 10, but very close. Which, as you can see, I have my custom background with my glass colored icons. And even from uh, Winterboard, I got this cool Mac like uh, dock thing, that, which they have on the Macs, which is really cool. And my number one is called Rock. Rock is just a simply a much better version of Cydia. It's not that hard to explain. It does everything Cydia does in half the time. It's really simple, easy to browse things, top rated. You can easily update all your things. See, I have a couple updates I need to do. So it's easy to update everything, top rated. You can search everything really easy. Go to categories. Everything's so much faster than Cydia, and I really recommend it if, like, uh, what, you take a day, like an hour, and add all your sources from Cydia to Rock. I really recommend it because it's so much easier to do everything. And it's so much easier that it deserves the number one spot in this countdown. I hope you guys download some of these, and I hope you find them much more convenient for you on your iPod. And I hope this helps. Alright, thanks a lot. Tune in later.